That sanctuary gets bigger and bigger every time I see it. It's great to yeah. see what they're doing to so many animals, right. just yeah, giving them a whole new lease on life. New place yeah, to I was go. just going to say they're a good looking family too. Let's say yeah. there's some good looking lions. <laughs> and the weather has been beautiful to be outside or to even go check out some of that. Some of the animals at the sanctuary, 66 degrees right now in San Diego with 59% uh, relative humidity. The winds are coming out of the west northwest and you can see here what's happening. The latest storm system now moving out of the Rockies, but there's still snow coming down in Denver. It's been relentless for them. Seems like <laughs> spring is just not making an appearance there. But for us, high pressure is now in place and is going to provide a nice warm up over the next 24 hours. But this is actually set to last all the way through Thursday until we'll start to see some clouds and the potential for even more rain in the county. Over the last 24 hours, temperatures jumped anywhere from two to three degrees along the coast to our inland valleys, looking at about five to seven degrees better than yesterday. So the the setup, the wind direction has a lot to do with the temperature difference. We'll see that's where we get all those microclimates. We're getting an offshore flow, which is allowing for temperatures to really heat up in the mountains into the valleys, but there's still a weak onshore flow with a touch of a marine layer, which is going to bring more clouds for tonight, but not expecting this to be as cloudy as last night or even earlier this morning. 72 degrees at average as we make our peak temperatures will warm up tomorrow. They will stay above average through Thursday and then they'll start to cool back down. Inland areas will go from 81 degrees tomorrow to about 76 degrees on Thursday and then on Friday we'll start to see those temperatures toppling back down. And here's why storm system is approaching typically ahead of it. We get more clouds so that cools things down. And then on Saturday, bring in our chance for rain to up to 80%. Then it dries out on Sunday. So the weekend, the best out of the two will certainly be on Sunday. For tonight, down to 50 in Poway, 51 El Cajon, 50 in Chula Vista. Tomorrow, temperatures will jump to the mid 80s with a taste of summer from Fallbrook all the way down to El Cajon. In Chula Vista, also approaching 80 degrees. In our 10 News Pinpoint 7 day forecast at the coast, some clouds in the morning, otherwise nice and sunny in the afternoon. Warmest day will be tomorrow, but there will be a big difference. Coastal areas versus our inland valleys expecting about a 10 to 12 degree difference. Mid 80s tomorrow, they are 80 on Thursday, mid 70s Friday with a potential for some showers on Saturday. In the mountains, low 70s, still pleasant through the end of the week with plenty of sunshine and a bit of wind into our deserts. A lot of 80s there. We got to make the best of the work week. Mm -hmm. It's going to be a good one. Get yes. outside. Okay.